Hi, and welcome to the video on course selection and timetable planning for geography students. The following is a list of suggested first year courses for a student in the geography program. You will notice all of your required first year geography courses as well as some breaths and electives. The single asterisk provides students information on concurrent education. Students in concurrent education should utilize some of their available electives in year one to complete their required six credits of math. Information regarding what counts towards their breadth requirements can be found next. You can also find this information at www.nipissingu.ca slash NSO under the course selection tab as seen within the academic advising's intro video in the NSO module. Courses within these course codes can be counted towards your breadth requirements for your degree. You can either hit pause and review them now, or they can be found on the NSO website under course selections. Now that you know where to find a list of what to take, let's focus a bit on actually building your timetable. First, you will want to print off a blank timetable so you can start to pencil in your options and ensure you aren't trying to register for two courses that are taking place at the same time. You can find a timetable on the NSO website. Start off by clicking on the Course Selection tab, the Direct from High School tab, and then the Timetable Planner link. You'll see one side of the timetable is for the fall term. Be careful to only add fall courses to this side of the page. Your winter courses will go on the back side where you see the WI term. Some courses run for the full year. They're listed as FW on WebAdvisor. You will write those courses on both the fall and on the winter sides of the timetable. Pay careful attention to which side of the sheet you're writing your courses on, as it is easy to accidentally write something on the wrong side and get yourself mixed up. There will be another video assisting you with WebAdvisor, but for now, let's take a quick look so you know how to tell if a course is available in the fall or the winter. Here is a quick screenshot of some of the math offerings in WebAdvisor. As you can see, course codes are followed by two letters indicating what term the course will be offered in. FA meaning the course runs from September to December, WI meaning the course runs from January to April, and FW meaning the course runs from September to April, or all school year. Next up, we're going to take a quick look under geography so we can pencil in your first course together. Don't worry if you aren't quite sure how to get here yet. You can review the Registrar Office's video on how to navigate WebAdvisor. You'll see from the screenshot that Geography 1016 is offered in both the fall and the winter terms. In the fall term, it is offered as a synchronous online learning course. This means there are designated learning times, so you, we must timetable it. I have chosen section FA843, which takes place on Mondays from 8.30 to 10.20 a.m. This is what it would look like on our fall timetable. In the winter, Geography 1016 is offered on campus and with section WI001 chosen, we can see we have a couple different meeting times because there is both a lecture and a lab component to this course. Lectures take place Mondays and Wednesdays from 8.30 to 9.50 a.m. with labs taking place Tuesday from 2.30 to 4.20 p.m. And this is what it would look like on our winter timetable. On-campus courses are at least three hours per week. If you notice you've written down less than three hours for any on-campus winter course, be sure to check WebAdvisor to see what you may have missed. Let's look at another course on your list, ACAD 1601, or Academic Writing. You'll see this course is offered several times in both the fall and in the winter. Because you have so many options for this course, with both distance learning in the fall and distance and on-campus learning in the winter, you'll want to make this one of the last ones that you pencil into your plans. Don't forget to take it, but start considering what else you should decide on before you pick where ACAD fits best. Students planning on a full course load will be registering for five courses in the fall and five courses in the winter. This is an example of how the list of courses we reviewed at the beginning of this video might be split over two semesters. The list of breadth requirement options can be found earlier in this video or under the course selection tab of the NSO website. Electives are other courses you plan to take based on your interests, academic goals, and course availability. You may decide to use your electives to complete a minor or potentially a teaching subject. Different minor options at Nipissing are as follows. 
If you'd like to learn more, check out the Academic Advising website for a video about minors and certificates. If you'd like more information about concurrent education requirements and teaching subjects, please review the video found on the NSO website under the Concurrent Education tab. Take some time now to review the videos by the Registrar's Office to better assist you in understanding how to navigate WebAdvisor and the registration process. With this information, you should be able to set yourself up a timetable for the year. Once you've planned all of your courses for this year, you can log on to WebAdvisor and register. Please know that building a timetable and choosing courses can be a long process. Read different course descriptions, consider your different options, and understand that you will have the opportunity to make changes to your course selections even after courses have started in the fall. Once you've registered for courses, you can email us at advising at if you'd like someone to review your selections. If you're still having more difficulty and want to sign on to a group academic advising chat, please check out your Nipissing email for information and instructions on how to do that. Thank you for listening and good luck as you start to plan your first year.